Hello friend, welcome back to my channel KBS Technocrop. Today we are going to understand and explore how we can use Azure I with Azure function for deploying Azure function locally using Visual Studio 2022. In this, we are going to understand what is Azure I, how to configure, how to use it for Azure functions. So let's understand what is Azure I. Azure Arc is open source storage emulator. It's a simulate Azure block, queue, and table services. So what is benefit of using Azure Arc? Sometimes what happens when you are developing some of the applications or Azure functions, basically, it's required to connect to uh, like some kind of storage uh, locations like Azure blob, queue, table services. So in that case, if you don't have Azure subscription or you do not want to use Azure subscription because your application or code is under development or is under uh, for learning purpose. So in that case, you will be able to use this because it's provide multiple benefits. So it's allow you to use local development for and testing without using Azure subscription for this. To continue development or to testing purpose, you don't need Azure subscription. It's a faster development cycle because you need not to have a resources to be created on Azure uh, portal. So to do setup, since we are using Visual Studio 2022, few step I will skip it. But uh, uh, what we need to do that make sure that node is installed and also. Uh, you can install using npm command, right? But since you have a Visual Studio 2022 install, once you install Visual Studio 2022, these all steps are skipped. That means it's not required because it's by default it will be installed, okay? So when you install that, uh, right, uh, then uh, uh, what will happen, uh, This there are certain port which is used for a certain Azure storage. For example, let's say consider 10,000 block is used for block. For queue is a 10,001 and for table storage is used for 10,002. We will see in more detail when we will go through the practical examples in this. So how do you configure? So basically when you have a Visual Studio 2022, you need not to worry about that. It's installed and whenever you are going to create a new product, uh, your function, it will be by default give a option to select whether you want to use Azure Storage Emulator or not. Okay, so we will see the uh, uh, hands on in 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 a while. Okay, so how do you deploy? Basically, when you create Azure function, you just provide a connection string in the local setting.json file. It will allow you to uh, you know use that local storage storage. Okay. So I will skip this part and we will see uh, uh, in an example how we can use it. So for us, what is required to be installed? You need to install a Azure uh, Storage Explorer. So in, on my system, I have installed the Azure uh, uh, Storage Explorer. In this article, we are going to refer a Microsoft Learn URL, which I will uh, add into the description box so that you can also refer it. Okay. So, uh, since the Azure Azure Rite is installed with Visual Studio 2022, we need not to worry about that. So, if you see here, Azure Rite is automatically available with Visual Studio 2022. So, we are not going to talk more about how to install it. But if you are using Visual Studio Code, and, and, and then you have to install it, right? You have to install it uh, adding a, a marketplace. You can go and install it. If you want to install using NPM package, then you can install NPM install and then you can use docker and you can use github as well okay so let's talk about how to use in visual studio 2022 so since we have already installed visual studio 2022 in my system so i'm not going to run any command or uh, download any executable file to install that as a right okay so now once this install what we can see that it will be available 
for the uh, different version of Visual Studio to a particular location. So let's say consider on my system, I will check what Visual Studio version is installed. I will just open it. I think it's enterprise version, but let's see that. Okay. And then if you can see that in the help section about Visual Studio, and you can see that it's a Visual Studio enterprise version, right? So I will close this and then I will copy this command and then I will go make sure that you are using command at administrator so I just use it now I will put CD and I need to go to that location but this location is there then I will put azurite.exe once you click it you will be able to see that azurite is ready so what this if you see here message means if you see here the blob services are running to this particular url and queue services are running on this particular url and then some similar table services are running on this particular url right so this is how is 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 basically is started when you run this particular command i will ping this command into the chat window or a description window or we can uh, refer this uh, URL from where I am just copying these commands. Okay, okay. So once this is done, now the second tools which we need to install just for exploring uh, the these stories. So we need to go on Google browser and then uh, we need to type Azure Storage Explorer. When you click, when you see that, the first you can click on this and you can download and install it. Okay. For my system, I have already installed, so I'm not going to download it. So I will just click on Azure Storage Explorer so I can see Azure Storage Explorer is there. Now, now when you open it, you can see there are two uh, sections here. One is here, you can see attach containers and emulator. So whenever you are going to create any Azure function or Azure, uh, any uh, APIs or web application you want to use it, you can connect to this emulator and you can use it. So if you expand a little bit more, what we can see that here, the endpoint for each blob endpoint, queue endpoint and table endpoint is already there here, right? So that's that. And same thing you can see it here as well. Uh, it's loading right so let's create a visual uh, using visual studio let's create a new function so i will create a new project basically and then i will select a user function right and i will give something is right blob storage something like that let's store is okay so I'm going to use blob storage trigger for this demonstration. So I will select this folder. I will click next, right? And then it will take a few minutes and then, okay. So, so now we can see that here, the queues, tables and blob containers are available, all right? So let's go here and we will create a simple blob storage trigger and then block trigger all right and here we will just give connection string string copy this name whatever name you have given right click on create Right, and here you select that Azure Storage Azure Emulator, right? We can select it. If you are running on container, you can use container one. I'm not running on container. This. If you are using Azure Storage, you can do that. So for us, since we are using emulator, we are selecting this and I will select this. I do not want to save anywhere. I'll click next. I do not want to do this all. Let's see and I will finish it. Right, so it will take few seconds. 
So what this Azure function is, this Azure function is type of blob reader and we are using a Azure blob container name is sample work item. So I will go here and then I will add a new blob container. I will keep the same name, whatever is there. I created here there is a no files that's fine what we will do now we will check the connection stream so we will go on solution explorer and then we will go on those local setting and make sure that whatever connection string you are defining is is set there so I'm going to define connection string and we will use this so whenever you are using is your right on local machine the connection a string basically will be by default used in this way okay so we can define this connection string whatever storage you are using either table blob or queue all this connection string will be same this is a shortcut what they have provided here right if you want to use the different connection string you can go here and here you can get share access signature and you can create it you can copy this and you can use that as well okay so i'm not going to do that because this is how is 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 just way to do that so i have done it now let me run this up is your function app So I'm running this Azure function app here and then it's the building as of now till the time is a building uh, if you see whenever you are connecting to emulators right what will happen the corresponding connection strings are getting added inside the connected services here so I created a, a connection string then you can see here this connection string is added here connected services added here okay so you can go here and you can add a number of connection for example if azure function use a uh, uh, different different kind of storage let's say blob queue and and blob uh, queue and any other right any uh, any other storage we can go ahead and add it for example here you can see here you have a blob queue and table so if, if all three are required you can go ahead and add it here all these three uh, uh you know uh connected services okay so fine our uh, our azure function is work running now you can see the block trigger what we will do now so what this azure function is basically this azure function is written for uh, reading the data from that particular blob container and just displaying the name and content of that particular file on the console right in the log information okay so let's try it it's very simple let's try it here i will go here and upload a file right and uh, we can select any file let's say any text file i'm going to select it so let's say i have a test demo file i will select this and i will click upload once it's uploaded see that is uploading okay so you can see this file is uploaded name is test demo and if you go here you can see this particular azure function which is a, a trigger based on that particular azure container right blob container is what what does it do is basically new, reads the name and data for that file and display on the consoles so this is very basic step for doing that similar way you can do any kind of uh, any kind of you know storage connector you can connect it with simulator which support currently right blob queue and table you can use it any one of this and do that so let's try one more sample and there in that sample we are going to use the queue right so i will close this solution right and i'll open a new project and this time i'm going to use queue triggers next and then use a function and then i will put queue 
queue trigger let's say in me and just click on next and once you click on next basically what is going to happen it is going to allow you to select okay so i am going to use q trigger i select q trigger and again here i'm going to give connection string you can give any name right you can give connection value let's say connection value right any anything whatever you want to give it you can give it right so and q name where is connect my q item so let's say create it okay i will select emulator next and i don't want to save this configuration anywhere finish okay so it's a building basically okay there are some packages which are causing the issue so what i will do i will remove it right so let's build this so it's a building now okay finally we we need to define this connection value right so which connects that emulator so i will copy this i will paste it here right and as i discussed for emulator this is the shortcut for providing connections so i just provide this and save it and we can see that build successfully happened and then the, so what does it do basically is configured to listen a message from a my queue uh, hyphen items is the queue name so i will go here and if i go in queue i will create queue and i will give the name so i will give that name right i have given the name right now let's run this user function which is using the queue trigger and let's see if it works and then what we will do we will push a message into that queue and we will see that that the queue or this particular function is list, uh, able to read that message okay so it's running that's fine and you see that what does it do basically it's a message text whatever we posted it uh, it's going to display so let's go here and add a message so we will add this is message one for demo right and i will click ok so this message is pushed now we will go and console we can see this is so if you see here this is message one typo is there so that's fine this is this is message one for demo let's try to push one more message here uh, add and we will put this is message two right and we will click ok so you see that message two is pushed right and then if you go on this so basically you can see that message to is display that means process so whenever a message get processed right it will be dequeued here okay so if the message after a certain time it will be tear down from here okay so i hope it helped you to understand that how to use as you right on your local machine if yes please go ahead and subscribe my channel thanks for watching